water in like well like 20 years ago the creek was was an open sewer um, and it's not anymore which is good I think that's a that's a good thing to realize that it can happen the the issue is that it's a different kind of problem than I think it was in the U.S. 30 years ago or 50 years ago because there were so many more people I mean there are two billion people who defecate in the open I mean it's open defecation two billion that's a third of the world actually less less now a third of the world who don't access to any kind of even little hut, little hole with a cover over it, or a little hole in the ground. This is just open defecation, and that's where a lot of this, the water gets polluted from. I mean, there are some very bad industry pollutants too, but just from humans, pure from two million humans, um, and that's not something that people like to think about or talk about or want to fix, and it's a big problem. So. The one thing, though, and I, Bill said he's very sad, and, and I there were times that I was very sad. Um, but it is, I, I always, for, for myself, I had to remember, again, that there are these people, though. I never met bad people. I mean, never. It just didn't happen. I mean, I got robbed by someone for a lot of money. And, but she was a sweetheart. She was my, my maid. My, 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 like, she was like an aunt to me. And, but and people just aren't bad that I found. I mean, there are, I think there are some out there, because there are some that I could, like, this, you know, mostly uh, on the Tea Party Bell. But, um, um <laughs> I didn't meet these people. I met good people, or people who weren't just thinking about um, how they could hurt someone else. You know, they went to help them. They made it always want to help you. Yeah, they, they could give you anything. Um, and a lot of times the ports were the ones who were the most open, and the most giving, and the most, you know, the most friendly. Um, and that I, I have, but I feel like that's something you have to remember too, that, that there's a lot of, I think we have a lot of, uh, a lot, lot to deal with as, a, as people. And it's easy to say, forget about it. But there's a quote that I read recently um, by F. Scott Fitzgerald, but yeah, F. Scott Fitzgerald, about holding two ideas in your head. That's a mark of intelligence. You know, I can tell you're intelligent if you can hold two ideas in your head. One, that things are, are awful, and I'm, that we can't fix anything in the world, like our lives or our world is, is ruined. And the other, that we can fix anything, and we have to fix it. Um, and I think that's, that's a useful way to remember it. Like, it, it, it's good to know this stuff, to some extent. Um, and then on the other side, it's good to know that we can make, we can try to fix it. And there's no reason to try to say not to. I mean, you're not going to do anything. You're not going to be, besides potentially burning yourself out, and, um, there's not, you're not going to harm a lot of people by trying to make things better. So that's my positive spin to it, because I, I know what you're saying. I understand what you mean, Bill. Yeah, no. Hey, uh, okay. I would like to thank Brett for coming and sharing with us his experiences and his knowledge. And uh, I think we need to thank Aiden, I don't know whether it is, for part of, providing part of the uh, uh, AV set up here. Yeah, the projector. <laughs> <laughs> and I think if you haven't had a chance yet, why well, stop by and say hello to Brett and get me praying a little more. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, hey, Brett. Did you ever think about giving your blog spot to anybody who's interested? Yeah, I mean, actually, I blog about the year um, on uh, the uh, uh, online blog about the year that I'm keeping going. It's now it's more just the sort of the, th the, the things that I do in Pittsburgh that I think are, are so interesting. Um, and that's they're interesting. Yeah, right, right now it's, it's uh, if you were to type it's B. This is Brett. So it's www.b chickatelli c i c c o T E L L I um, dot blogspot, B L O G S P O T dot com. Um, and from that, you can find links to, uh, I have pictures online and things like that too. And potentially, uh, right now I'm working on some stuff in Pittsburgh around local water issues, but I may be at some point paddling to New Orleans, uh, which would show up on the blogspot too. Um, looking at water and then the energy in the US, but that's maybe. I'd like to. I'd be glad. I'm not sure when, but it's like, yeah, yeah, thanks everyone. Yeah, thank you.